Hi everyone, this is Mark from DSLR Pros. I'm here to share some information on the all new DJI Zenmuse H20T camera. We spent the last week flying around testing out this camera and I'm here today to share some of that sample footage with everyone. First up, we're looking at the high power zoom lens on the H20T. With a 23 times hybrid optical zoom and 20 megapixel sensor, this is setting a new standard for DJI aerial zoom technology. In this first scene, we're seeing a person standing in a parking lot. We're able to easily identify the person as well as clearly see what they're holding without revealing our presence. With such a high powered zoom lens, we can maintain a safe standoff distance while still capturing the imagery that we need. Here you can see we're able to operate the gimbal using the touchscreen monitor. We can double click to recenter our image as well as click and drag to make finite adjustments with pan and tilt. Anyone that's operated a long zoom lens knows it can be tricky to track a subject. But with the touchscreen monitor, DJI's made this a lot simpler. In this next clip, we've identified a target, literally, that's 0.5 miles away. We're gonna to go to the long end of this zoom camera so you guys can see just how powerful it is. Again, we're able to double click on the monitor to recenter our image, as well as click and drag to make finite adjustments. Now I'm at the full long end of zoom lens 200 times. I'm pretty much inside of this target. I'm able to click and drag to center it up. By clicking that wide icon on the left, I switch from the zoom lens back to the wide lens to show the whole scene again. The great thing about having the side-by-side -side wide angle lens and zoom lens is you're able to instantly switch between the two images without losing track. This gives you great situational awareness because you have the ability to go from your wide angle view to your full zoom view with just a click of a button. The next feature we're gonna take a look at is the new smart track. In this scene, we're looking at an office building getting ready for a subject to exit it. Once our subject enters into our field of view, you'll see a yellow target appear above their head. We can click on that target and then start to automatically track our subject using the high powered zoom lens and 360 gimbal. The drone itself will maintain safe and stationary while using that zoom lens to track your subject. It will even attempt to follow the subject as it drops behind trees and bushes by understanding the historical trajectory and looking for the subject on the other side of whatever that obstacle is. Here we have a good example of the zoom lens plus track assist working together. The zoom is able to maintain a stable image even while pushing in on our subject because the track assist is guiding it. Here we have another example of the track assist feature. Here's a person running through a pretty heavily wooded area and we're still able to track them even as they fall behind trees and go in and out of shadows. Now we're seeing how the H20T has the ability to track a fast moving vehicle. Anyone who's tried to track a car using a zoom lens from a drone knows just how difficult this can be. As the car passes from one side of the drone to the other side, it's easy to lose track of it and then it can be hard to re-establish contact with that target. Here we can see as a person exits a vehicle, we're able to switch the target from the vehicle to the person to maintain tracking. For the first time from DJI, we're seeing an incorporated laser range finder. This gives us the ability to get a distance reading between the camera and a subject up to 4,000 feet away. This also gives us the ability to drop a pinpoint on the map and then view the latitude and longitude coordinates of that pinpoint. So this is helping to solve a major problem. If the drone operator locates a subject, they need a way to communicate the position of the subject to other people. And this is a quick and effective way to do that. It's gonna be much easier to track a subject using the smart track feature. The next feature we're gonna talk about is the high res grid photo. This allows you to capture a series of high resolution photos with one click. Within the DJI Pilot application, you can select an area of interest and the camera will automatically divide that area and start capturing zoomed in images. This is good anytime you wanna take a series of zoomed in images and making sure you don't have any gaps in the image set. Next, we're gonna take a look at the thermal sensor on the H20T. First, thermal is the ability to detect emitted heat. This allows you to see in total darkness, measure temperatures, see through smoke, accurately detect people, and a wide range of other applications. The thermal sensor on the H20T is a 640 resolution, 30 hertz with a 13 millimeter lens. In this next example, we're gonna be able to see how you have the ability to switch from thermal and optical or look at them side by side. The side by side image is really beneficial because you can see hot spots in the thermal image and have an optical image to reference what you're looking at. Next, we're gonna take a look at the various color palettes available on the H20T. Here we have white hot and black hot, which are commonly used for public safety applications. These provide a high contrast image that allow you to quickly identify a person. Next, we have rainbow and iron red, which are commonly used for industrial applications. 
These color palettes allow you to see heat transfer and the red and blue tones align with our perception of hot and cold. Next, we're gonna take a look at how we can use a thermal camera to identify a person. In this example, we have isotherms turned on. Isotherms allow you to highlight a certain temperature range to really call attention to that temperature. So that's the purple overlay you're seeing on top of our person, making it really easy to identify them in the scene. Once you've located your person, you have the ability to drop a pinpoint. You can then open up the map view, find that location, as well as get the longitude and latitude coordinates. One important thing to note is, you can also enter a longitude and latitude into the app and then display a pinpoint on the map. This can help you really hone in on a certain subject of interest. So in conclusion, with a 20 megapixel sensor, 23 times zoom lens, 640 resolution thermal camera and laser range finder, DJI has set a new standard for industrial payloads. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Please smash that like button and subscribe for new content. Visit DSLRPros.com for additional M300 resources. Contact sales at DSLRPros for any questions regarding pricing. And again, my name is Mark Flam and thank you for tuning in.